Good morning, David here. This is a weekly week look and today is uh, Friday the 12th of August, uh, timed at 8.30, video going out to pre-market open and as usual we're looking at the November wheat futures uh, 2011 and we've got the daily bar chart in front of us. Um, and as you can see that during the first uh, end of June, all of July and the first half of August we've been going sideways in this trading range that we've been watching on these videos uh, with a high of 170 and a low of 155. Now um, following my uh, video from last week we did go down and we did break through this on the 9th which was Tuesday uh, but it was only a temporary break you can see this candle here we broke down and went down as low as 153 and since then we've gone back up and we're went to close last night at 163 after going 167 but we still have not tested the upper of this sideways training range at 170. Um, what can we say there's no clear indication still that we're stuck in this sideways action at the present moment um, we need a clear break which means a bar below those two levels I've just indicated to give us an indication of where the market's going um, the trend is still down because we've got lower highs at the present moment um, but I have just marked on here we have got a gap we left back here um, in the beginning uh, middle of June 189 just below the 190 um, and if I swap to our long-term chart which we're looking at um, and you can see the clearly marked on here I've got our retracement levels here 165 and 155 now you can see that this um, this breach here on Tuesday just dropped below this 155 and has gone straight back up to test the 200 day moving averages screen line and back in this consolidation. Um, obviously targets if we have this break on the downside we've got 145 if we have this break to the upside we've got 180 and then 190. Uh, unfortunately can't give any clear predictions until we get this break out of this trading range. Um, I say my indications are to still sell into any lifts but um, with the current market situation without the world you could see um, speculative money coming back into commodities and on a trade weighted basis you could see um, a trade now being placed to buy um, UK wheat uh, with a stop here at 155 with the target 190 so that's um, a, a £10 loss potential with a £20 tonne gain so that could be a possible trade that you know people start to look at to put on if they want to go back into speculate on commodities so we have to be mindful of that and that could be a case that this is now happening now um, just show you what's happened in the US over the during July and August um, and you can see this is the wheat chart for the CBOT the American market and you can see we've had this same high sideways pattern going around the seven dollar mark um, and obviously same thing happened applies here until we get this break out of this range um, we're not going to see the um, you know an indication of, of the next move um, on the American market you can see the trend is down because we've got a high 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 here and another high here which is lower so the indications are the market is in a downward trend so I would still say that looking to sell into lifts at the present moment but obviously a close eye if it breaks this 170. Um, so obviously put an update this time next week. Thank you for watching.